In this video, we will be covering how to use tasks. We'll cover defining tasks, working with alerts from tasks, creating tasks, viewing pending tasks, and lastly, viewing history of tasks. Let's begin by giving you an overview of what a task is. A task is like a reminder that you can create a Magaya and you can associate that to a transaction. You can also create a task that is not associated to a transaction. For example, if you create a pickup order and you want to verify that that car has been picked up in a couple hours, you can actually create a task over that pickup order. So when the system reminds you, you can actually click on the pickup order, it will take you to it and you know what you're, what you're working with and what, what type of transaction. You can also create tasks that are not associated to transactions. For example, uh, you've got to pay your rent on a certain day. And as you can see here, the system has just popped up a reminder, and it's a task reminder. And it says, it's a pending task, call to verify pickup, it says it right up here. I can actually view the task. If I entered a subject or any additional notes, I would see that here. I can also open the dialog box for the specific pickup order, or I could say go to and it will open up the pickup order in the background for us. So we can actually view it and work with that. Okay. Now I'll select cancel here. I can move this over and work with it. Or I can say remind me later in 30 minutes. Or I can say set in progress that I'm working on it. Or finally set as completed. Or stop reminding if I don't want to be reminded about this task again. So let's assume I'll say set completed. Okay. Now let's show you how to actually define task. We'll go here to options, configuration and we'll select task types. And you can see I predefined various task types here. For example, container do it yard, verify custom clearance, confirmed on board, and so on. And you can predefine as many of these as you like that meet your company's needs. So let's go ahead and let's actually create a task, a reminder. So we'll go here to quotations and let's say that on this specific quote, I want to create a task. So I'll say task, I'll click on the task button, and I'll say who I'm going to assign it to. Let's say it's for myself. And what is it? I'm going to follow up on a quotation. Okay. Subject can be, you know, call to see if cargo wants to, uh, customer wants to book. And when it's due, let's say this is due tomorrow. And I also want to remind myself tomorrow. I'll say remind myself tomorrow at a certain particular time. Okay. And down here it tells you it's associated with the quotation. So when you actually receive the task pop-up, you can actually click on that button again. It will take you through the quotation again. And you click on OK. If you want to create just a generic task, you can go right to Tasks. And you can say Add a Task. And Assign to who? Assign to Pete Sanchez, for example. And it's Pay Rent Today. And I can say this needs to be done you know, on the 30th. Okay. and now he has a task. So right here in pending tasks I can see all the pending tasks for everyone within the company. Okay. So you can see this is a really good centralized place to keep your tasks. If we go to history of tasks we give you all the tasks that were done by the company and those can be by status, by pending ones, or by completed ones. You can organize that, you know that. You can also look at a report and I've predefined a few reports so I can go here to options, I'm sorry, reports and I go to save reports and I have tasks by employee. So this tells me the tasks that are assigned to each employee. I can also double click on one of these and it actually opens up the task. And it can say this one's associated with the, with the shipment. It says confirm on board. So I can say open up the dialog box for the shipment or actually take me to the shipment. And now I'm actually working on the shipment. If I click on back, it'll take me back to my report. I also created one that says task history by employee. So these are all the tasks that by employee by a specific date range. So from 3-1 to 421, this employee here, these are all the tasks that he had pending. It kind of tells you the date, the due date, when it was completed, and the elapsed time it took him to do the task, and the type of transaction. So you can see working with tasks can create high efficiency within your organization.
This concludes our video of working with tasks.